Kaylin Clark ain't making a natty game, y'all. I don't care what record. I don't care what record she break. Caitlin Clark in Iowa. I don't. I don't have them making the national. I don't have them even trying to play for a national championship. I don't know that they're gonna get out of the Sweet Sixteen. I just. I just don't know that, y'all. Y'all talk to me in the chat. Talk to me in the chat. I don't. I don't. I don't have them. I don't have them coming out like that. Uh, when I'm looking at Iowa, I don't. So. I don't think that their paint defense is uh is, is gonna match up against anybody that has any bigs. I think they're too small. So so, um, so so let me be spoiler on this. Um uh Ashy kind of hit where where I was going with this too. I fully expect Iowa, despite maybe being uh no lower than the two seed, depending on how they do in the Big Ten tournament, I think they're gonna have an easier road than anybody until the Elite Eight. And it's and the people are gonna look. You know, every time and every every tournament, you always have one side that's kind of a log jam with about four or five teams that could come out of that side. You're you gonna know. see it again. I You're hear gonna all of see that. it again. You're gonna have Kaylin Clark and Iowa on the side where it's kind of gift wrap for them to make it care. to the elite. I don't care what side they sitting on. Whatever side they sitting on, it's gonna be some it's gonna be some young women over there that's gonna be tired. Of hearing about Caitlyn, they gonna want they pound of flesh out of Caitlyn. We don't know if she's coming back next year. We don't. Want, we don't know if she's coming back next year. Yeah. And, and speaking of Caitlyn and all of these records she broke, shout out to Gills Arena. He had Cheryl Swoops on there today. They had a great conversation about record breaking, and, and she and, and Cheryl made this point: if you break somebody's record, should you have to do it in at least in, in no more than the time it took them to break their record or less? Caitlin Clark is Caitlin Clark is breaking a le- a record that that belonged to Kelsey Plum that Kelsey made in in four years, and and, and Cheryl was saying that maybe Caitlin was doing this in five. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check the record. But just in general with record breaking, if the record was broken four years and it takes you six years to break it, have you really broken the record? Is that a broken record? I don't know. Y'all talk to me in the chat. Let's oh. let, let, let's let's talk about it. It was a great point well, that they brought up today on Gills Arena. So let's go. Explains you never heard of Linda Sharp. Just, wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. SC Bread, SC Bread was dropping, been dropping, dropping uh, legendary coaches on. Yeah, the, SC Bread starting in the chat for sure. <laughs> but hold but on, I so, don't got. So, so I want to get 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 to your point, says. You know the way these rankers are looking, I would love to see a matchup with Iowa and Notre Dame somewhere in the Sweet Sixteen. Ooh, we that game would have it all. I would love to see that matchup. Scott, Scott said Caitlin has done it in less time. Okay. But in general, for breaking a rule, for breaking a record, if it takes you six years to break a record that was done in four, have you broken a record? Does the, does the chat have a feeling either way about that? Great question. If I, I, say, if I set a record in two seasons and you break it over three seasons, did you break my record? That's all I hear in the media. Caitlin, <laughs> the taste of the team. basketball got it. I didn't call her a Swifty. Wait a minute, Paris. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> there okay. are other players I besides Caitlin, though. There, there are other. I agree. Break the record. It takes more time to break the record. I think that's suspect. Yeah. So I just, I'm wondering. I, I, I'm just wondering. She ain't been in six years. Has she been here five years, Scott? And did, and did Kelsey set her record in four? Hmm. That's that's what that's what I that's what I that's what I got to do. Some, well, some you know, says so. off off the record, we always talking. I'm all about. Uh, I look at years and what you have to do. So I'm definitely on okay. last year. I said four years. Last year, I think Clark is going to need Tommy, Tommy Johnson, Johnson for four for years. That's another thing. Are they using her up before she gets to even get to be a professional? I, you know, her usage rate is super high. Um, but I, you know, I do. I want to put some. I want to start putting some framework around broken records. Um, that was really like an eye opener. Like, you know, if it take you ten years to break a record that I did in three, I don't know. Uh, so I just I don't have Caitlin Clark in there making it. I don't. I don't think that she's gonna play for a national championship. Uh, and when they say should she come back next year, uh, I don't think it's. I don't even think it's worth her coming back next year to try to play for a national championship because I don't, I don't think that Iowa is going to bring enough talent in around her to compete with any of any of the the teams that are there now, or any of the young freshmen um, or young talent that we're seeing develop right now in this season. 
especially with the uh, with the recruiting class that they got coming in. So it, it's probably Paris, it's probably time to go pro. Paris, I don't think Iowa has any championships. I don't think they do. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, got to got to tell me. Got to tell me. I don't. I don't. Let me see. I don't think they have any. I don't think they have any championships. Oh, bo- bo- boxing won her, and, and, and it's over, huh? Okay. Boxing, you putting the boxing one on her. Okay, Funk Dr. Spock said put the boxing one on her. Boxing one, okay. I didn't like this, all of the celebration on beating Nebraska either. I just want to throw that out there. Why? But the Big Ten, I mean, well, no, let me take that back. So... What I what have we seen here is the teams that are supposed to win when they lose they come back and they win. Okay. All but LSU, which disappoints me. Think about it. Notre Dame lost, they came back, they won. Iowa lost, they came back, they won. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, okay. you can't say it about SC. They haven't lost yet, but any any team is ranked and expected to win when they lose. They haven't had those back to back losses yet. Okay. Okay. So I mean, you know. So you don't you don't do you think they are they're not capable of being beat two times in a row? Who? You said they haven't had back to back losses. Who so you talking about? Iowa? Yeah, you, you said they can't uh, beat. No, no, no. I think they can. No, 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 no. I was saying that I was going to scratch saying that they were celebrating too much, but I think that's that that you won. You happy that you didn't get two losses in a row? Yes, they definitely can lose two in a row. Definitely. Thank you, Scott. Scott, Scott, thank you so much for uh, getting them facts for me. So, Caitlin is breaking Plum's record in about 12 games less because Kelsey did it over March Madness. Uh, so, 12 games less. Boxing one, okay. It's got to be a good one, though. Someone like Hidalgo good. Yeah, yeah. You got to have somebody that's, that's definitely D'ing up. Hidalgo's defense is crazy. She, she she takes the ball when she wants to take the ball. That, that, that's crazy. Um. <laughs> Paris say you should just need to go to the NBA. Bye, Caitlin. You did your due diligence. I missed that comment. Bye. Oh, wow. I mean, SC Brett is still dropping the coaches. Joe, Joe Champy. All yeah. the Tigers. At the Andy Lady, Lady, Bull, Lady Bulldogs. <laughs> he I dropping some jewels in here. I love it. Dropping some juice. So yeah, yeah. I, I don't I don't got I don't got her. Uh she's a great shooter, but I Iowa goes as far as she goes. I think her, her they say her shoulder oh, gonna be more out yeah, Scott heart. pulling out the stat. Iowa hasn't had a two back to back losses since November twenty second. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, I'm glad you, I'm I'm November twenty second. I was like since November twenty two. Mm-hmm. Or are you talking November about November second this year, or November twenty second this year? I'm, I'm not sure. This year, you talking about twenty two, twenty twenty two? Y'all don't be watching Juju. That girl is unreal outside of. SC. Listen, Juju oh, is I'm having a great Juju. season. Oh, he's twenty twenty two. Since twenty twenty two. Whoa. Yeah, and with all that, they didn't. They ain't want no natty though. Uh, so no, I do watch Juju. I, I watch Juju. She she's uh she came in. I think she's a little bit more polished than Hidalgo. Uh, I don't know that she has. Um, supporting cast around Juju is what I worry about. Is supporting cast around SC, uh, but no, Juju is a beast. Juju is is one of my freshman phenoms for sure. So her, Hannah, Michaela, uh, Talia, uh, Malaysia, uh, just to name a few of them. Like they they're gonna their games are gonna be unreal, and they are super. They're gonna be super fun to watch for these next four years. And I'm gonna tell you um, what. Saturday. So let me ask you. Let me ask you this, coach. With all of the, Maryland. I'm sorry. Let me ask you this, coach. Mm-hmm. With all of the, uh, with all of the accolades, with all of the accolades that that Caitlin has run up, as a, as a person who played the game, would you rather have all of those accolades or the jury? Jury. Okay, I'm asking the chat too. You want the jury or the accolades? Yeah, this freshman class is one of the best. I haven't seen a freshman class like this in a long time, Antonio. I don't think I don't know if I've seen one ever. All teams come March. Uh, need luck with the bracket, of course, of course. That, that's that's the beauty of March Madness. But you still got to show up and do the work. But I agree with you, Coach. I'm 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 looking for the for the for the jury and the hardware. You need the jury. No, it's uh, seriously. We get the line. The list goes. And on that's why on, I think that. I, and that's why I, I really think that the yeah. the the competitor in Caitlin would rather the jury than all of the records. I mean, I, look I at just, all the players I, we can name to have all of these records, 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 records. But what stands you, what puts you in 
in the in the in in that in that building are championships. You got to get a championship. That's right. Yeah, I also good. yeah, you got to get a championship. You great 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 call out Paris. Yeah, all of these freshmen are about to tear college up, and they're gonna bring women the, the, the views to this sport. But they also are getting ready to put some pressure on the WNBA. They got to find some place for all this talent to go. Now get yeah. some more teams or something. We can't keep going around just taking a couple here. It's too much talent in this league to keep just letting them have to go uh, work at the library or wherever they end up at after the after they finish playing in in college. Like, let's 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 really give them a place to go play. And WNBA got to do better. They got to do better converting the the audience over mm -hmm. to the WNBA too. Like, let's 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 get going. Mm -hmm. Hey, Antonio, circle February twenty second. They go to Indiana. Iowa. Yeah, transfer portal portals equal Indiana. ring chaser. I agree, Scott. Yeah, they jump in the transfer mm -hmm. portal portal and they go looking for rings. They mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, now and that's the one thing. Now you made your decision, especially like Caitlin. She played in a natty at Iowa. It would look it would have looked crazy for her to jump in the in the transfer portal. So I I respect her for for sticking it out at Iowa and trying to get it done there. You know, she stayed home and tried to get it done. She could have jumped in the portal and went. Anywhere at any time, like any school would have took her with her with her skill set. So, hats off to her for trying to get Absolutely. it done there. I just, I, there's just not enough talent there. There's just not enough talent around her, and I, that's that's too yeah. bad. Scott Delvin's, you right? Juju like Kaylin won't go chase a super team. She'll stay put. I agree. And yeah. uh, oh, Antonio, I know we might. You know, we might. It's that Thursday. We might have to do something for that one. I right, well, yeah, we may. Yeah, that's gonna be that's right, gonna be well, a good. Indiana. Might be fun. Might be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Somebody in the chat yesterday said, yeah, the talent pools in our day was a lot deeper. Um, so when we when we looking at like this talent, somebody in the chat said yesterday that they thought Hidalgo may leave Notre Dame. And if you weren't here yesterday, I, I want to know your, your opinion your opinions. Should Hidalgo leave Notre Dame? I like what uh Coach Ivy's doing up there. Is her name Na Nail? Nail? Yeah, I always Nail? Mess her name up. Yeah, I always mess her name up. So I think that I think the Hidalgo should stay at Notre Dame and stick it out and see what they can put around her. I know they got some uh some some players hurt. I hope she stays there. Uh I'm curious to hear the chat's thought on that. Yeah, and from Dr. Spock, he said what player had both? What player had both what? You, you I lost you, I lost you on that one. Olivia Miles might leave first. Okay, okay. Do you see do you see, do you see a spot where Olivia fits better, Antonio? Mm. I, and and because because she's coming off the knee, should she leave? You think Hidalgo took her spot? Okay, okay, okay. So maybe just not enough room for the two of them. Okay, with the hurt knee. Wow, but they would that would have been dynamic uh to have both of them running out at you as, as a point guard. Um uh, I know that uh coach, I believe for sure in, in, in the NBA they play a lot of positionless basketball. Do you feel like women's basketball is positionless yet? No, I don't no, no I don't. I don't um because there's a clear if you have a uh center. Uh, a, a serviceable center in women's college basketball, you stand out head and shoulders above other teams. Um, it's very few hybrid teams, I like to say, that have like three guards and that go far in a tournament. Glad you brought that up. This is who I was telling you about. Kate Koval okay. is going to Notre Dame. Okay. She's 6'5". Okay. okay. She's arguably the best big in the country. That's who's going to be playing with Hidalgo next year. Hidalgo's not going anywhere. For Hidalgo to be able to dump that thing down low and float around that perimeter and let somebody go to work and open it up more, she's not going anywhere. For Hidalgo to have somebody where she penetrates and she don't have to do the circus shots with the right or the left hand and can dump it off, toss it out to somebody, oh, yeah. Yeah. She, they going to be all right. Trust me. Trust okay. me. She's not okay. going nowhere. Maryland is a prime example of how positionless basketball doesn't mean the best. Yeah. Good call out, Donovan. Good call it out. It is. It is. That's a good call out. And I wonder if the positionless style that they tried to play was a reason that they weren't able to keep Angel. Mm. Because she's more dominant in her role, right? Here's um, what I think. I think situational 
Mm-hmm. Positionless basketball is great for women's college basketball as a strategy. So you bring in, you see some matchups and say, you know what? We, we're not stopping this big. I'm about to bring in three guards and two forwards. Let's run them out the gym for at least a quarter and a half. That's mm-hmm. different. But actually okay. building your team to be positionless, not a good idea. It's not going, not working right now. You have to have size in women's college basketball. Just my thoughts. Okay, okay. I mean, that's fair. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at like a, you look at like a Leah Boston, a Cardoso. Mm-hmm. You know, you you have a string of, of bigs that come through your program like that. It's 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 a good foundation to be able to build on. You know, continuous, continuous, continuous success, success, sustained success. I should say, uh, where you you're continuously. In, in in the in the in the uh, SEC championship, you, you're continuously in the in the tourney. You're continuously ranked number one, or at least you know in top mm-hmm. five, top ten. So, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely, absolutely, definitely makes it makes it makes a big difference. Got to have them. Got to have a big. Only if you have a system like SEC. 